<laughs> I'm just here to uh, commentate. Yeah. I'm here to watch these handsome men be birthed <laughs> from the wombs <laughs> of your artistic skill. <laughs> don't like that phrase and to that's make as many awful metaphors as i can like i'm lovely, a <laughs> like you're I'm doing a, a great commentator. job <laughs> you're doing a great job commenting already <laughs> we got julia coming out with a nose first <laughs> strategy uh, which you don't see often in this uh in this arena uh but she's had a lot of success with it in the past we're gonna see how it works out for her i went to fashion school nose fashion school <laughs> nose fashion school what they do is that they teach you how to draw some beautiful boys but not anything else no beautiful women? I miss those classes. <laughs> On purpose? Uh, <laughs> so anyway, so I'm going to start shaping in, shaping in my boy. This is a Troa archetype. Did you know that all handsome men can be narrowed down into one of the Gundam Wing archetypes? Yes. This is a uh, Hero Yui S. Yeah, this is a Hero Troa uh, combo. I do you can, see you can him double with, up. I do want to see him with Troa hair. Like the long braid? Not Troa. I'm sorry. I'm thinking. Oh no, Troa's <laughs> got the the big front hair, and, and yeah, it's Catra that's got the long braid, right? Or is uh, that Fang? Catra. Oh, fuck. What's what's that guy's name? No, he was he was. Karina, like, I, I was I, counting I, on you. I missed Gundam. <laughs> oh my god. It's impossible to return to now. No, Troa. Troa is the one with the long front hair who is heavy arms Gundam. Hero is the main dude who's I'll kill you. Yeah. Oh, that's um, Troa hair right Katra, there. Yeah. Catra is the sand. Yeah, dude. he has the blonde hair, but doesn't he also have like a little ponytail action going on? No. <laughs> I'm looking him up right now because um, I'm not going to sit here. Google and... open. Duo was the. Duo the... has a long braid. Duo has a long braid. That's that's uh that's Troa's hair. That's Ooh. not even long enough to be <laughs> Troa's hair. It was like this. It was insane. I keep wanting to say their character is like Fang Long, but I think that's a Street Fighter dude. It is something adjacent to that. Oh, his name is Wu Fei. Wu Fei. Uh, yeah. I Wu Fei. Uh, yeah, Catra, Duo, Troa, and Hero. Every time I look at characters from the show, I want to watch it again. And every time I try to watch it again, I watch like 10 minutes and I'm like, this is unwatchable. Oh, he's getting some fog out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> not even smoke. No, not even fog. smoke. Listen, he's too cool. Yeah, so you accidentally it. made Schmidt from New Girl. Gosh, shit. Yeah, you did a Schmidt. That's Gosh. a Schmidt. It's kind of different. He's a, he's a good looking dude. He's he fine. is a good looking dude. This is like a Schmidt if he like saw a knife fight one time. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, oh, how do I unschmidt him? You I think you gotta lean into the Schmidt. <laughs> um, you gotta commit. You gotta commit Hold to on. the Schmidt. <laughs> I don't wanna commit to the Schmidt. <laughs> Karina, yay. <laughs> what if I give him like a, a cool mustache? <laughs> that's, that's gonna look like he just stuck it on. Schmidt with a mustache. <laughs> Um, and what if, <laughs> hold on, okay, what if, what if? Is he blowing out smoke? Uh, we've it's discussed fog. this, or, it's fog. Or is that Where like, were you? Or is that like, I was mouth. thinking about Zex Marquise. <laughs> <laughs> was Listen, if you're not going to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Julia, the mustache is so dumb. It looks so fake. You have to stop what it's you're doing. It's undercover. <laughs> <laughs> So Schmidt entered the handsome. Is that <laughs> Groucho Marx nose? <laughs> He's undercover. Never... They'll never know it's me, Schmidt from New Girl. <laughs> he looks like he's trying to try out for the part of Elf of um of Commissioner Gordon in yeah. Batman, and he like kind of missed the mark. And they were like, oh, "Are you just wearing a Groucho Marx <laughs> mustache?" And he's like, "No, totally oh, not." Oh, there he is. Oh there my god, is. it really does look a lot like Schmidt. <laughs> you, I think How do you I unschmidt him. You don't. We said you commit to the Schmidt. I can't believe I have to commit to the Schmidt. We all have to sometimes. I don't I don't think I have to. I didn't agree to this. Schmidt comes for us all, <laughs> whether we are ready for him or not. Uh, it is a very handsome man though. I tried to go for you know, And this is a traditional Julia. It is. High uh, collar. Style. He's wearing like a pea coat with a popped collar. You know, it would kind of come out a little bit more. Yeah. In yeah. Julia's like art brain, it's always winter. Yes, <laughs> it is. And I mean, everyone's always just gone through a breakup. He's, I'd like to imagine that he's wearing a suit under here too, because there's nothing better looking on dudes than a suit. Yeah, suit plus pea coat. Suit plus pea coat. Forget about it. Yeah. I don't want to see Schmidt. He looks <laughs> like he's, uh, he's eating a big thing of broccoli. God damn it, Jacob! <laughs> that's that's sexy it's like though. Hanging out of his mouth like a cigar. Yeah. 
<laughs> he kicked the cigarette habit, and now I he, love health food. <laughs> he eats broccoli. Now that's handsome. Yeah, you, you know he's a man who takes care of himself. <laughs> yeah. He's looking there out for his nutritional value. That is sexy in its own way. He's just eating some broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> he needs to he needs to take care of his bod. Noshing some brock. <laughs> hey, hop on in. <laughs> like a frog. I have a lot of thoughts and feelings about this frog. I think we all do. Yeah, we we didn't expect to be so um enthralled. Yeah, he's just so enraptured. So active. He's so strong. <laughs> and I feel like he could take care of me. Yeah, with his arms. Yeah, that's like the important thing. Yeah. His arms, his big strong <laughs> arms wrapped around me. <laughs> Sorry, just that shape initially was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Are we getting like sort of an up angle look like he's he's looking down at us? I think he's like... Oh, he's facing away from us. Yeah. What? He won't even look at us. Where are you going? <laughs> Come back. <laughs> <laughs> we just met and already I can't live without you. Punch frog, please. I want his hat to be like tilting off of his head. What does a cowboy hat look like? See, that's the problem. No one knows. Not like that. What is this? <laughs> Definitely not like that. Oh, it turned into a bucket hat. I mean... Kind of like that, I guess, but it's like, it's like <laughs> going I'm sorry, fishing, I, partner. <laughs> I gave you all a cowboy hat. Yeah, fuck you too, Jacob. <laughs> that was kind of mean of you. <laughs> People are always talking about, you know, oh, artist, draw, draw a bicycle. Oh, draw a horse. No one ever says artist true fear, which is drawing a cowboy hat in ver at various angles. Yeah, like it's too hard it's impossible it's just a it's weirdly shaped i'm sure that julia will look up reference <laughs> will i for the for the final of this now this is looking like a marlboro ad what <laughs> no like it'd be like him sitting on the like the back of a truck bed facing <laughs> away from you like smoking a cigarette after a hard day's work on the the frog farm the frog farm nah Harvesting lily pads. Is he sweating? Is this like... Yeah. Do I want to say <laughs> something disgusting today? <laughs> I don't know. Do you? Uh, I guess he's just not into aftercare. <laughs> 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 I'm leaving now. <laughs> <laughs> just hear Karina's footsteps receding into the distance. <laughs> You can towel yourself up. <laughs> right, partner? <laughs> you know where the door is. Yeah, you don't need me to do it for you. <laughs> now do you? <laughs> you're, you're an adult. I can't believe I am being led. <laughs> you didn't have to make him hot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even want to draw a frog. <laughs> And yet here I am, looking at this. <laughs> We're all looking at this. <laughs> yeah, looking at what exactly? <laughs> oh my God, why has he got to be so like cut? <laughs> yeah, why is it? <sighs> He's strong, you drew him strong. Yeah, no, I mean, you're right. It's just, you know, bringing some feelings in. I'm just drawing what everyone was thinking. It's Jacob gave him big arms. <laughs> 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 You drew a cut frog. Yeah. I didn't draw a cut frog. Yes, you did. <laughs> you just used visual shorthand to do it. <laughs> this is a little fucking volcano. <laughs> this freaking volcano brownie hat. <laughs> lava cake. It's lava cake. Oh my god. Yeah. Sorry, partner. Normally I'd stay till morning, but <laughs> The farm the ain't needs gonna... tending. <laughs> the animals need looking after. Himself. Animals can't fend for themselves, partner. Normally I'd stay till morning, but the law's looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> They're hot on my trail. <laughs> oh my god, he's an outlaw too? Yeah. He's hot. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 
I'll leave you some money for the motel room partner. <laughs> for the cab ride home. Yeah, call yourself a taxi. I can't take you back. <laughs> I didn't think this episode would be us getting <laughs> consumed with lust for a frown. <laughs> my Dodge is only a two-seater, and the second seat's for my animals. <laughs> Every single one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they waited outside all night. <laughs> no. <laughs> they heard. <laughs> Don't worry, partner. I left the AC on and their favorite music playing. I want like, I want like the the romance manga like. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no. Amazing. Somehow that day I knew that was the last time I would see him. I just wanted on record that I didn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> The Ribbit Ranger. <laughs> you may not have done this, Karina, but you're going to have to do it. I'm going to yeah. finish it. But... You're going to finish it. <laughs> finish the fight. Oh, my God. <laughs> and Jacobs, he kind of looks like a himbo. He's just having a great time doing a dance. And mine yeah, why like... did you make him so angsty? <laughs> Love him and leave him. This is like making me sad. <laughs> it looks like he's remembering who he used to be. He's remembering a simpler time. I think I'm done. Oh my God. Yeah, I feel like we're getting somewhere. I agree. Will this turn into Eugene? We will see. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> That's what you were doing. It's Eugene. It's Eugene. <laughs> Look, when in doubt, draw your Blorbo. And sing Third Eye Blind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good Monday to me. Yeah, damn. <laughs> We're partying over here. Okay. Thicken this up a little bit. Yeah. A little indicate where the eye is kind of looking. I feel like this is good, Julia, because since, like, the Stern Man is your, you know, like, MO as an artist, uh -huh. we can see, like, how these brushes hold up against like a familiar subject the stern man yeah. the stern man yeah so not it's the like, despicable man my but the stern oc man. stern man <laughs> sternman <laughs> sternman like this is this one is for nobody but i i just finished the season two of tiger and bunny mm -hmm. and the setting of that is a city called stern build <laughs> stern build yeah and so i'm just like stern man from Sternbild? <laughs> he's from Sternbild. Yeah. His name is Stern Man. Yeah, he's a little predictable. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger and bunny propaganda. Okay. How's a man get so stern? <laughs> Lives in that weird ass city. <laughs> I feel like I I need to get sterner. I'm gonna work on getting sterner. Just try like sterner. How you say? Yeah, furrow your eyebrows more. Okay, don't pout when you do it. <laughs> you look like a baby. I'm a stern man. I'm only getting sterner. Jacob, mm. I can't take you seriously. I'm stern. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I love the way you're using this to shade. It's uh, It lets me do a big shape. Yeah. Which I love. And the nice texture. Yeah. Okay. He's kind of looking like what's his face from Guardians of the Galaxy? Drax? Yeah. Like da Dan, da Dan. Dan. Daniel. Dan Daniel. Danny Dan. <laughs> what's that actor's name? I wanted to say Daniel DeVito. But that's not. <laughs> That's very much not That's it. Very much not Please. it. It's only my father called me Daniel how dare DeVito. You say that. Batista. Yes. Dave Batista. Oh. It does look like Dave Batista. <laughs> not Daniel DeVito. Daniel DeVito. <laughs> 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 right. yep. Oh, you've you've Lex Luthor. Oh, but isn't isn't he isn't he, Daniel DeVito? Daniel yeah. DeVito is bald. <laughs> but if you make the head too um like tall. 
it becomes Lex Luthor. Damn. Because Daniel DeVito has a very round <laughs> head, a squat head. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Okay, I don't want it and to he actually has be a ears. portrait of him, but. <laughs> <laughs> just, just an observation I made. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget the ears. Okay. You, you don't have to give him ears. I just, I was just stating something I noticed about Daniel DeVito. <laughs> have you guys ever? Ah, oh, you, you know the actor I'm talking about, the actor with the ears. Markiplier. No, not that one. He's bald. Uh, bald and ears. That can't be Markiplier. Markiplier <laughs> is hair. Hmm. Hmm. Who could it be? <laughs> we'll never know. Are you drawing Eugene? No, uh, it wasn't my intention. Why, why but, not? But are you? All right. But you are. <laughs> I mean, I can. It's very stern, Eugene. But yeah. He's, he's trying to think of what to order yeah. at the sandwich shop. <laughs> That's just, he's got resting bitch face. Yeah. He's got resting bitch face. Resting stern face. Yeah. He just woke up and he's like, who, what, where am I? <laughs> People always think that he's contemplating some something deep. But he's really thinking about the most mundane shit. It's the Wii sh channel shopping music. <laughs> <laughs> he just forgot his glasses at home. Trying to read. Yeah, like, I don't, I can't see. It's my favorite character <laughs> thing. Can't see well, so they're just squinting all the time and they look like very judgmental. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to believe that was me that time I flushed my glasses down the toilet and had to take a flight, but I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I looked like. But when my mom met me at baggage claim, when I landed, she did laugh at me because I was just wandering around squinting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like you maybe leaned more towards the looking like you were stoned. <laughs> <laughs> On the rare occasions I do, like, have my glasses off when i get my picture taken i do just look stoned so yeah because just kind of like <laughs> true this is au where you got tired of being nice and cute and stupid <laughs> there's a freaking there's a hairbrush what the hell <laughs> give him some flyaways with it yeah yeah like that this does look like eugene and, and peaky blinders <laughs> Piggy blinders? Piggy blinders. Piggy. Piggy blinders. It's me, Piggy blinders. Stop. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that one's doing some blending a Ooh. little bit. Well, it changed to like a light gray. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, That's nice. Yeah, that looks nice. Pretty. I love you, Jean. This is like a real thick Eugene. Yeah. Yeah. Eugene and Draw Detective season three is going to be jacked out of his mind. Yeah. What'd you get so strong for? To hold other men? <laughs> or. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got the collar. We got it. There it is. Fill in that shape a little bit. Fill in the shape, fill in the space. Yeah. Oh, that's, that one's a nice chonky. It is. It also kind of looks like a lemon or like a really cute little bird. Oh. Aww. See? Or a leaf. It does look like a bird. <laughs> yeah. There it is. With the little wing being the pressure point. Cute. Wow. That is cute. Jazza, what else have you hidden in these brushes? You got <laughs> secrets in here. Whoa. Secret Easter egg. The bird. <laughs> it's a bird. <laughs> See if you can find all the Easter eggs. Oh, yeah. And then I do a refined sketch after this that are going to be like my mm. changes. And then I do uh, the line work. Uh, so this is me just doing a redraw. The line work's really cool. Yeah. 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 This one, uh, this one is just my sketching. That's just like my sketching thing. It just looks nice. Thank you. So I'm just laying out the general shapes of everything. Uh, indications of like where the muscles are because I was also using it as like a study to study some of the muscles that I don't normally do. Um, yeah, this this part took me the longest is sketching everything out because I tried to make it as close as possible and then I lost steam on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta forget this guy. 
I, I feel like the original artist also kind of lost steam on him. He is a little goofy looking. He's just, he's just having a good time. <laughs> he's like, you, you guys seeing this? <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. I try to hit like different kinds of vampires a little bit. I do like the kind of shorthand vampire that I do, and then I made the the involved <laughs> vampire in the middle, sort of like a an interview with a vampire, Tom Cruise. That one looks so, like Spock. Here's my uh, here's my line work. <laughs> my favorite vampire, Spock. Ooh. Yeah, nice job on these expressions. Yeah, I tried to push the expression a yeah. little bit, so that's a little more. Uh, be like romance novel cover, the billowy shirt. Yes. Yeah, a little bit. No shoes. They took their shoes off in the house. <laughs> yeah, in the room. They're in, in a room. room. <laughs> well, he has one shoe on. Oh. Because uh, I wanted it to be like a, a fight, basically. One shoe came off. Is that you? This is Julia's self-insert. <laughs> I wind up deleting that character. Oh. Because I didn't I didn't really like it. It wasn't doing it for me. It's fair. Fair. I like it though. Yeah. Well, I couldn't really make it work with what I had pictured. And uh I was gonna do more of a background for this, and then I um got kind of uh busy with other things, so I, I couldn't do it. Um so yeah. This is just me blocking in all the colors, all the base colors. I tried to stick close-ish to the original painting. Uh, I changed some of the lighting. So I wanted to go with my ultimate comfort zone, which is a thing that I don't do on this program because I have a thing where I feel like everything needs to be really well polished uh, for the channel. But this style is not very polished. It's very loose. It's no reference. It's me with no plan. It's my my comfort zone, which is just um, beautiful uh, evil businessmen. <laughs> beautiful evil businessmen. <laughs> because I got sort of like a a a powerful um like I don't know. I, we we all got some some powerful yet horny energy from this character. <laughs> yeah. I'll just say it. <laughs> of course. Uh... <laughs> so I wanted to do something that like fashion, fashion art, and fashion photography always has this sort of like uh, power dynamic in it a little bit, or it has for a while. So I wanted to do something in that vein. Um, so you see me sketching a lot because, like I said, I have no plan in this. Uh, this is just me going. This is just how I draw when I'm allowed to just draw and I have no real ideas or plans. It's so cool to see you Hell go yeah. loose because you do it so rarely. Yeah. Uh, for anything that anyone sees. A rare but Julia. I was telling you this <laughs> off, off episode, but I, I really like your loose style. I think it has like so much energy and confidence to it. It's so yeah. good. In a way that, like, I don't think I could do this type of thing and have it look, like, intentional at all. <laughs> it comes from drawing, like, I, I for, a, for a long time, and I still do it when I have time or I feel like it, I will sketch from reference, uh, like a still from a, a movie or just whatever, and I'll try to do it quickly just to work on values and shapes and construction and all that. Um and this kind of thing I absolutely love to do. So it just, it's like, it's my comfort zone because I'm not planning anything. I'm not overthinking it. I'm just kind of feeling it out. Um, and I love high contrast. So you see a lot of lines that aren't finished. You see a lot of just like implied connections. Um, like that nose doesn't connect to the rest of it, but your brain fills it in. So you get yeah. this cool like yeah. negative space in there. Yeah, it's so arty. <laughs> um, yeah, I went full illustrator on this one. Nice. So you just did, you did two full drawings and they were like, you just sort of hid them. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't like them. I didn't like them. I wasn't feeling them. I, I just, 
I kept them around in case I couldn't, I like wasn't feeling any of the other ones I was feeling. And this is all in the span of 25 minutes. Yes. God. <sighs> <laughs> but yeah, art hack. Delete your art. You don't yeah. have to keep it or like it. <laughs> also because, again, I have an issue where I'm very like precious with everything I do. I feel like everything has to have like a, a certain quality or finish or refinement to it where sometimes that can make it feel stiff. And I I do get precious with things. So th these are always an experiment in forcing me to just be okay with the thing because yeah. – for me, the most important thing in an illustration is how it feels and what the tone is and like what it makes you feel or, or think of. And these exercises are a really good way to figure that out quickly. This looks so freaking cool. Yeah. yeah. This, this is, is definitely like, so like my favorite vibey. thing to do. <laughs> yeah. This is this is something I don't do often, but I when left to my own devices and I don't have to do it for anything, this is how I draw. Like these are Hell pieces yeah. I don't post. This is like the cover of a graphic novel I would have seen in Borders that I would have been like, I'm not cool enough to read this. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta leave. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable because it's too hot. <laughs> yeah, and then this is me trying to figure out if I want a background or if I just want to leave that forehead be implied. A fully implied forehead. Yes. Bold. Yeah. It See, can go anywhere. Julia, that's so powerful. You're left to figure it out yourself. And then I just start futzing because I feel like there's some things that can be added and, and played around with to kind of get that feel down a little bit. Your mind to a place. It's a very high concept character design. The audience really has to do their work. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I just want to say I love so much the collar on the right side of the image that's just this big, pure white triangle. Yeah. Hell like, yeah. Like, it's just such good, like, shape language. Thank you. And it reads so well while being so minimalistic. I love how intense the eye is. Yeah, the eye is so cool. I wanted it to all be in the look. And blush it. <laughs> <laughs> this rules, Juliet.